Hello, everybody. So, yesterday, I'm, I'm sorry for the bad mic quality. For some reason, now we're recording with NVIDIA Shadow Play. Uh, the audio sounds a bit worse. I want to record something with Audacity, but, you know, I, I don't want to go through the trouble of using Sony Vegas right now because it's slow. On my computer, at least. So, I got a question from a friend and a fan yesterday asking um, how I make my video thumbnails. And as you may know, hold on, let me. Go into my YouTube real quick. It's on my second monitor because um, I'll just talk as I'm saying this. So this happened after yesterday's video, and they were like, "How do you make these video thumbnails?" And I was going to answer, but they later deleted the message, and I understand why. But that's sort of a personal thing. Um, here you go. Like for example, if we go into my videos here, um, like things like sixteen by nine, uh actually invented Minecraft, bruh, and what's a good one? There's this one with a ship that I did recently. This one, uh, 978. And there, it's actually, now, this may seem simple for some people, but I don't know, I just thought it'd be interesting to make an actual desktop video like this. Now, I don't make, I, I make my thumbnails in paid.net because, in my opinion, it's the best thing, except, like, I don't know, GIMP, but I don't know how to use GIMP. Uh, but I don't usually start out with this template size. So usually, um, if I'm going if I'm going for quick, I do 1920 by 1080, make everything black, and then just go from there. But today, we're going to make a, a sort of special thumbnail. So we're going to do we're going to open Notepad. We're going to open the calculator. There we go. And so let's do 1920 divided by 32. That's 60. And then 1080 divided by 30, 32. That's 33.75. Let's just go for 33. So 60 by 33. So, and due to this, due to it being slightly, um, what, shorter than normal, um, we're going to make sure that we aren't going to have anything going, like, just up to the tops like this. Like, for example, let's say that we have a... Let's say that we get like a white thing and then we have a like going up here. Like we don't want that to be a thing because the borders will be obvious. So we're going to have something like For example, let's let's make something like I did yesterday. So something I usually do for th smaller thumbnails like this is I turn off the grid because it just seems intrusive unless you're doing something close up in a bigger image and that's not what we're doing. So for example, I um do something like this. Let's say I want to like a like a gradient, I don't know, here. I cut it. Add a new layer, you know, gradient. Let's go for dark blue to white, for example. And then... Oh god, that only did it in the selection. And then... There. So we got our first gradient. Now, if I was feeling extra crazy, maybe I'd have it go up sort of like this, but no, nah, I'm not in the mood for that. Let's go kind of diagonal. Perfect. So once we have that, we just have to do some sort of line system. Now, maybe we could do something like, oh my god, a layer two. Uh, for example, we do something like we get like white lines. We go like this, but then we get the paintbrush tool, make it black, tolerance zero. And that just kind of keep filling it in. And then we got this nice sort of thin layer. And then we could do something like magic wand. There you go. And then make this one like, make this one specifically like, I don't know, like bright pink. So there you go. We got, we got something like this. And then maybe we can add some actual lines that go across here. And then we can select a bit. First, first let's save it to desktop. PNG. No. JPEG. We need to JPEG this. Uh, make it 20. 20 is usually good. Plan. And then we reopen it, and it's going to be lower quality. But that's a good thing. Perfect. 
And so we select a certain area, like, hmm. here seems good, has the most things going on. Um, we got the curves, RGB, do only blue, uh, mess around with that a bit, go over to green, mess around with that a bit, go over to red, mess around with that a bit. There we go, and then we can do something like some sort of motion blur through the middle. So we can go for, where's blur? Motion blur, kind of going like this, where it kind of smudges it up. And then we need to add some sort of text. So, well, we don't need to, but it's best practice because we need something for the title of the video. Um, usually it should go off of the screen. Uh, so we're going to do something like, what should the video be called? There, example. And then we bold that, turn off aliasing, turn off anti-aliasing, I guess. So I guess this is alias, I don't know. There, example. Maybe we can, maybe we can have the, um, have a, have a little gradient to it. Maybe it could be like the exact opposite of what it was last time. So it could be like primary this, secondary that, and then it could. Oh god, whoops. And then it could go the other way around. There we go. And then we save this as JPEG again. Although I kind of want to keep the sharpness of the alias text. So we're going to make it a bit sharper this time, about 50, flatten, yes, that's always important. Um, and open up the JPEG again, zoom in, see that's, that's a good bit, perfect. Because you can still make out the text from a, both a large and a smaller standpoint. So then we save that as PNG because it's a better format most of the time. And then, let's save this too. Perfect. We now have our thumbnail for today's video. And if you want to make a Leo the PO signature thumbnail of your own, then um, do something like I did using gradients and JPEG effects. Yeah. All right. See ya, dude.